Welcome back everyone to another review on everythingicafe.com. Today we're going to be reviewing an app called Adobe Reader for iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it up here. Adobe Reader is an app, uh, most people have heard of it. If you use a computer for any kind of business purpose, you have probably heard of Adobe Reader or at least a PDF file. Um, at least at some time in your life someone has probably asked you if, they, if you can send them a PDF file. Uh, mainly it's an uneditable version of a document, so a lot of invoices, con contracts, um, financial reports, things like that are normally sent through PDF, and often you receive them on your iPad. iBooks does a just fine job of opening up PDF files, but Adobe uh, Reader, made by Adobe, the company who kind of created the PDF document, uh, has put an app out surprisingly for the iPad as well, given that uh, Apple and iPad and iPhone were kind of the reason for Flash's uh, demise, but we'll leave that for another conversation. So, here you see, I'm going to uh, just bring it in a little bit, you, I have uh, three apps on the screen. Um, I'm, going, I'm going to open up the first one and just show you some functionality here. Alright, so I have this document loaded up here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just show you some of the controls at the top. So, by default, this is how it's going to look. If you see at the very top, I have a few options. They will go away automatically if you don't tap the screen, and that's just to make it easier on reading. First option here is continuous single page automatic. I will show you the differences. So this is single page, right? If I go to automatic, it will uh, basically automatically render to the right size. Uh, continuous will do something similar, so I will just leave it on there. The next option is all your edit options. So if I click on that, I can click on this little bubble here and actually choose somewhere in there to write um, you know, uh, any message I want. Notice my name is already written there. And uh, the reason that is, is because the first time you go to write a note, it's going to ask you what your name is. This is so that you can collaborate with different people. Not only will it have your name, so who's editing it, if you hit save there and open that note back up, you'll notice that it adds the date, so you can do time-based collaboration, uh, which is very cool stuff. Alright, so the next thing I can do is show you how to use highlighting. If you click on the highlight button and drag from outside of text onto text and let go, you'll notice that it will highlight the text uh, yellow color. Um, so if I bring it a little closer there, it's a little more obvious. Okay. Next thing you can do is strike out text. So same kind of thing. Click on that. Highlight the text. This takes a couple tries sometimes. So just give me a second here. And there you go. So you can see that it is now uh, stricken out. That does take a little bit of practice. Um, you have to kind of grab it in the right place, but it will eventually work. This next option is underline, so it says drag over text to underline it. So if I do that, uh, for whatever reason, that works a little bit easier. I can freehand draw here, so you know I could just write anything I want. So you see that how that works, and hit save. And then this is a very cool option. So signature. So I've already actually written my signature. Notice I could just hit add signature, and it'll put it in there. Or I click, I can click on signature, click somewhere else, and hit edit save signature. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is what it already is. I'm going to clear this. I can write anything here. Normally you would write your signature and hit save. Anytime I click on that and click anywhere on the screen, add signature, it's going to put that signature. That's a very cool function. If you sign a lot of documents or you're, you're responsible for signing things, um, you can always kind of put a perfected signature in there and just kind of work on it for a while. I'm going to go to another page here. Okay. Uh, another thing that you could do with this app is email, open in other apps, send for a signature, which is very cool, or print. Of these, I'm going to show you the send for signature. So if I click on that, it's going to ask me to go to the website and upload it. So I hit upload. Notice that it's uploading. I'll now be taken to Safari, to the uh, Echo Sign website, which is this digital signature. And I can send this email to someone from me. They will sign it return it and that is kind of a uh, you know legal way to get a signature very cool I'm going to go back into the app now and the final thing you could do is search the app so if I click on the search function and say I type single page because I know it's right there search notice it highlights it right there so you could search the app the app does not have to necessarily be text in this format so this PDF file may have some innate text built in you could just upload a picture of text, and uh, Adobe does a pretty good job of recognizing the text when you do searches for it. So I hope everyone enjoyed this app. 
I give it a 10 out of 10. It's a good supplement to the iBooks app. You should download it, and I will see you guys next time.